updates weather on the A's with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hi everyone, good morning. Super Doppler 8 right now is showing some light snow over the area. Almost the entire area now blanketed in this uh, light snow here, which has been mainly non disruptive for the morning commute. The only spot I'm seeing some moderate snow is in Union County here, western Union County, just to the west of Mifflinburg and Penn's Creek. So we'll keep an eye on that as it slowly sinks south. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast for you today morning snow showers with little accumulation. Windy later today after snow showers shut off. So blowing snow or drifting snow is a Possibility. Temperatures today should get up to 30, but it'll feel more like it's in the low 20s or upper teens. Tonight, clearing skies as high pressure builds in from the west. Wind chills, though, still with a breeze overnight, will be near zero. Look at these lows 10 to 14 for your overnight low range. Then for tomorrow, after that cold start, mostly sunny, brisk, and cold throughout the day, 24 to 28 for our top temperatures. Let's talk about yesterday. Look back at the almanac shows a midnight high of 31 degrees. Most of yesterday, we sat in the 20s throughout the afternoon. Officially in Harrisburg, 1.9 inches of snow with additional very light accumulations here over the past few hours. Harrisburg right now seeing some light snow, but the roads are in great shape here. You can see 26 degrees for the current number. We have 25 in Gettysburg, also in York. It's 27 in Reading, 20 for Lewistown, one of our cooler spots, and we're looking at 27 degrees in Coatesville. Let me show you the wind speeds. Current sustained winds are coming out of the north or northwest, up to 20 miles per hour in Lebanon. That's the highest. I do expect sustained winds to be 10 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon, blowing that snow around. So here's Super Doppler 8, the bigger picture for you shows a band of snow came through overnight right in our western counties that may have dropped a quick inch anywhere from Lewistown all the way down to Gettysburg. Everybody else, though, will see light scattered snow showers through midday before they start to wind down. Low pressure will be pooling away. High pressure will be building in from the west. So the pressure difference actually between these two systems, that's what's going to cause the wind for us today. We'll see windy conditions slowly subsiding tonight and maybe a bit of a breeze as we head into tomorrow. Then the predictor shows high pressure kind of parked overhead as we roll into late Wednesday. Clear skies, another cold night for you Wednesday night. Finally, Thursday, here comes a clipper, and this is the storm that will come in during the afternoon and during the evening to bring us a coating of snow again. So that could make the evening commute on Thursday a bit on the tricky side. The extended forecast here keeps temperatures in the 30s or 20s over the next few days, but keep your eye on those low temperatures, 12 tonight, 14 tomorrow night, then we jump a little bit on Thursday, but we're right back to 10 Friday night into Saturday and 14. Saturday night into Ooh. Sunday. So, more often than not, we're going to have low temperatures in the teens this upcoming week. Wow. Groundhog Day is coming up. It I didn't is. realize that. It is already. It's felt like Groundhog Day <laughs> for the past uh, week or so. I actually. bet we're going to have six more weeks of winter. I don't know. That's just yeah, my hunch. Yeah, yeah. We always do. Christine, thanks. Thank you, Christine.